Hello, um, you've tuned into this video because you went out and Googled or were searching for what do I take for astronomy or what do I take when I go stargazing. My name's Rick, I'm the middle-aged rocker. I'm also an amateur astronomer of many, many years. And uh, this video is going to cover real quick uh, just some of the basic items in my experience that I've determined that are needed when you go out to a stargazing session. So the first thing I want you to think about in reference to this is that you're going to likely be going out to a remote area. There aren't going to be any facilities. So you're going to want to take some toilet paper, as crazy that, as that may sound. Um, so do that, maybe a shovel. Just think camping, right? Um, along the same vein, also think about what the weather might be. It's always better to have too many clothes and not enough clothes. So take some warm clothes with you. Um, in case there are bugs where you're going, I'm going to recommend you take a little pack like I have here. It's got some bug spray, um, also some calamine lotion in case you get bug bit. And I think we even have some uh, maybe sunscreen in here. Although if you're going out at night, that's not going to really be any kind of a worry. So in addition to those items, you're going to want to take a red, uh, a red lens flashlight of some kind. This is actually one I picked up at a military surplus store. Maybe you've seen these before, but they actually have a, a plastic red lens in them. There are other uh, fancier ones more specific to astronomy that you can purchase. This was very inexpensive, I think less than five bucks. Um, okay, what else we have? My book, my old tried and true Oregon astronomy book, the reason I take this with me is because of all the star charts in the back. Pardon the uh, visual aids from other videos. These star charts are very simple and I love them because they're Oregon specific and they're also month specific. So um, you can go into these for any month of the year, get a good idea of what you're going to see um, looking up at the sky where the constellations are, and the key, my friend, to finding stuff is knowing the constellations and knowing what goodies are in the constellations. This book, um, Oregon Star Watch, you may have one for your state or your country, depending on where you're watching this video from. Wonderful resource, probably the thing I use more than anything else. Lastly, you've got your telescope, obviously the physical equipment, and your um, eyepieces you want to take out. Don't forget those. And that's pretty much it. Um, I do have a collimator in here that's specific to the telescope. That's probably going to be a completely separate video in addition to a talk on laser pointers. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Again, my name is Rick. I'm the Middle Age Rocker. This is one of a series of astronomy videos I invite you to check out out on YouTube. If you like what you see and you found the content informative, um, please click uh, like and share. Um, also, in addition to these informative videos, my wife and I, Kitchen Mama, offer opportunity in the form of a great business. We invite you to check that out too. That's, uh, uh, you can see more about that at workwithrickandanna.com. And lastly, I have a hard rock and heavy metal radio show that I invite you to check out. Middle Aged Rocker is the name of the show. You can just Google it and actually find your way to the show. It's on a community radio station, kmuz.org. So until the next video, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.